Balder Benedict von Schirach the 9th of May 1907 to the 8th of August 1974 was a Nazi German politician who is best known for his role as the German Nazi Party's national youth leader and head of the Hitler Youth from 1931 to 1940. He later served as Gauleiter and Reichsstatthalter, Reich Governor of Vienna. After World War II, he was convicted of crimes against humanity in the Nuremberg trial and sentenced to 20 years in prison. Early life Chirac was born in Berlin, the youngest of four children of theatre director, Grand Ducal Chamberlain and retired captain of the cavalry Karl Bailey Norris von Chirac and his American wife Emma Middleton Lina Tillo a member of the noble Chirac family, of Sorbian West Slavic origins, three of his four grandparents were from the United States, chiefly from Pennsylvania. Through his mother, Chirac was a descendant of Thomas Hayward Jr. and an indirect descendant of Arthur Middleton, two signatories of the United States Declaration of Independence. English was the first language he learned at home and he did not learn to speak German until the age of five. He had two sisters, Victoria and the opera singer Rosalind von Chirac, and a brother, Karl Benedict von Chirac. His brother committed suicide in 1919 at the age of 19. On 31 March 1932 Chirac married the 19-year-old Henriette Hoffmann, the daughter of Heinrich Hoffmann, Adolf Hitler's personal photographer and sometime friend. Chirac's family was vehemently opposed to this marriage, but Hitler insisted. Gregor Strasser dismissively described Chirac as a young effeminate aristocrat, upon whom Hitler bestowed both Henriette and the Hitler Youth position. Through this relationship, Chirac became part of Hitler's inner circle. The young couple were welcome guests at Hitler's Berghof. Henriette von Chirac gave birth to four children, Angelica Benedicta von Chirac born 1933, lawyer Klaus von Chirac born 1935, businessman Robert von Chirac born 1938 and sinologist Richard von Chirac born 1942. The lawyer and best-selling German crime writer Ferdinand von Chirac is the couple's grandson. They are also the grandparents of the philosopher and critic Ariadne von Chirac and of the novelist Benedict Wells. Chirac was a published author, contributing to literature journals, and an influential patron of the arts. <laughs> <laughs> Military career and the Nazi Party Chirac joined a Wehrjagen group military cadet group at the age of 10 and became a member of the Nazi Party NSDAP in 1925. He was soon transferred to Munich and in 1929 became leader of the National Socialist German Students League National Socialistischer Deutscher Studentenbund NSDSTB. In 1931 he was named as Reichsjugendführer youth leader of the Nazi Party, and in 1933 was made head of the Hitler Youth Hitlerjugend and given an SA rank of Gruppenführer. He was made a state secretary in 1936. Chirac appeared frequently at rallies, such as the Nuremberg Rally of 1934, when he appeared with Hitler in rousing the Hitlerjugend audience. The event was filmed for Triumph of the Will the propaganda film made by Leni Riefenstahl for the Nazi Party. Chirac set the militaristic tone of the youth organization, which participated in military-style exercises, as well as practicing use of military equipment, such as rifles. In July 1939, Chirac paid Passau a formal visit. In July 1940, when a new play by Hans Bowman was staged there, Chirac insisted that 2,000 local Hitler Youth members be part of that performance. In 1940, Chirac organized the evacuation of 5 million children from cities threatened by Allied bombing. Later that year, he joined the army and volunteered for service in France, where he was awarded the Iron Cross before being recalled. He served with the 4th Machine Gun Company of Infantry Regiment Grosse Dutchland in the rank of Gefreiter. During the French campaign he was promoted to lieutenant and decorated for bravery. Chirac lost control of the Hitler Youth to Artur Axmann, and was appointed governor or of the Reichsgau Vienna, a post in which he remained until the end of the war. An anti-Semite, Chirac was responsible over the next few years for sending Jews from Vienna to Nazi concentration camps. During his tenure, 65,000 Jews were deported. In a speech on 15 September 1942, he said that their deportation was a 
contribution to European culture. Later during the war, Chirac pleaded for a moderate treatment of the Eastern European peoples and criticized the conditions in which Jews were being deported. He fell into disfavor with Hitler in 1943, but remained at his post in Vienna. Chirac was notoriously anxious about air raids. He had the cellars of the Hofburg Palace in the Vienna city centre refurbished and adapted as a bomb shelter, and the lower level of the extensive subterranean Vienna Air Defence Coordination Centre in the forests to the west of Vienna held personal facilities for him. The Viennese promptly dubbed this command and control centre the Chirac Bunker. <laughs> Trial and conviction Chirac surrendered in 1945 and was one of the officials put on trial at Nuremberg. At the trial, Chirac was one of only few defendants to denounce Hitler including Albert Speer and Hans Frank. He claimed that members of the Hitler Youth were innocent from any of the German war crimes. In this hour, when I can speak for the last time to the military tribunal of the four victorious powers, I should like, with a clear conscience, to confirm the following on behalf of our German youth, that it is completely innocent of the abuses and degeneration of the Hitler regime which were established during this trial, that it never wanted this war, and that neither in peace nor in war did it participate in any crimes. He said that he did not know about the extermination camps. He provided evidence that he had protested to Martin Bormann about the inhumane treatment of the Jews. Chirac claimed at the trials that the roots of his antisemitism could be found in the readings of Henry Ford's The International Jew. He was originally indicted for crimes against peace for his role in building up the Hitler Youth, but was acquitted on that charge. He was found guilty on 1 October 1946 of crimes against humanity for his role in the deportation of the Viennese Jews to certain death in German concentration camps located in German-occupied Poland. He was sentenced and served 20 years as a prisoner in Spandau Prison, Berlin. On 20 July 1949, his wife Henriette von Chirac the 3rd of February 1913 to of January 1992 divorced him while he was in prison. He was released on 30 September 1966 after serving his full sentence, and retired quietly to southern Germany. He published his memoirs, Ich Glatte and Hitler, I Believed in Hitler, and died on 8 August 1974 in Krav. Von Chirac is mentioned in Philip K. Dick's 1962 alternate history novel The Man in the High Castle as a candidate for Führer after the previous holder of the office, Martin Bormann, dies. See also Glossary of Nazi Germany List of Nazi Party leaders and officials